Talk. Joining me is Adam Irizarry. Welcome to the show again. Thanks for having me again. You know, um, you don't look much different than you did a year ago. Oh. You, you know, except maybe with the sideburns. Maybe the hair's gone a little uh, longer. You've been busy. Yes, I have been. You have yes. been super busy. Um, last year, you met. I remember everybody was standing out here staring at you play with a guitar over your head. Were you plucking with your teeth too? Yes, I was. That was bad. That was right, that was right on. That was Thank pretty you. cool. Um, what's been on with you since the last year? Well, um, thanks to this show, I actually was able to get in contact with Gary Carolla, the producer from the Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, and Britney Spears. And I was went to his house, and I would play you, for wait, him. You went, where does he live? He lives in Orlando. You, okay, so you just drive up in your car, you went to his house. Yes, it was, it was a very nice house. <laughs> I imagine. And uh, I would play for him a little bit. And uh, he has a band going on, the James Boyd Band, a really great band. And they were making the music video for their new song, The Centerfolds. And I was able to be in that video with them. And I told them how I was starting up a band with uh, my original music. And I just got it together now after six drummers and you know, a couple guitar players. And you finally got the, you got the band all together right now. Yes, finally found the perfect match for everybody. It's going great. What was the whole, was he looking to help you make the band? Or I saw the come play with Adam Irizarry. Yes. What was that? He made an advertisement to try and help me find some band members. Uh, and it actually helped a lot. It, uh, I got a couple of MySpace messages from people. And you know, was found found a couple band members. Now, will Gary be working with you on whatever album or, or work that you guys? Yeah, so when get? we um, we just we're recording a demo right now. Once we're completely done with that, uh, we're gonna be sending him the demo, and he's gonna listen to it, and you know. That's not too shabby that. to have Gary Carolla backing you up, is it? Not not at all. No, 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 no. that's good work. Sorry. Now, um, Matchbox Twenty. Okay, how that Rob went Thompson, was Rob Thompson, right? Rob Thomas, yes. Thomas, that's it. Yes. Oh, he's hot. <laughs> you met him. No, actually, um, the rhythm guitar player in my band, Matt, his dad knows him and showed him uh, our single uh, breakup song, and he loved it. And you know, there's a possibility that we might be able to record with him, like in the studio, in his studio. Really? Yeah, I was, I was very excited about it. Oh my, how how old are you? You're like 18, right? Yes, I'm 18. And you've been playing this, for, and your sister's also. Does she sing or she something? She sings. Yes. Is she part of your band or? No, not yet. She's gonna. Start, she's probably going to try for American Idol when she gets old enough. She's going to develop her voice. She's like 16 now, isn't she? By she's 13. She's 13. Wow. She was here last year, right? Yes. She's not here tonight, though, is she? Uh, she's somewhere. Somewhere around here? All right. We'll find her later. All right. The American Rock School in Tampa. What is that? That's where I work. Um, I give guitar lessons there, half hour you know, or an hour. but, And it's a really great job, actually. It's my ideal job. I can't see myself working anywhere where I'm checking people out or anything like that. What do you mean? You see yourself on tour, <laughs> touring like the nation and, and the world. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Like It's that way I get to uh, help you know the younger generation that's coming up you know start to learn music, too, because I don't want good guitar playing to stop. Who who was um, why did you get it? I mean, I know you last year like my whole family's musically inclined. We all do something, but was there one guitarist that you kind of idolized and are you kind of molding yourself after? Yeah, well, when my parents got me a little toy guitar for Christmas one year, uh, I saw Eddie Van Halen, oh, and yeah. I saw him. I just, I just wanted to play like him. That was the one thing I wanted to do. The Eddie Van, yeah, that's the one that you wanted to play yourself. Okay. We're talking about 97X, Next Big Thing, that was just last weekend. Yes. Were those, pi those recent pictures on your MySpace page, or was that last year? The uh, Next Big Thing? Yeah, it wasn't, I thought I saw some pictures of you on stage with uh, Chris. Maybe I didn't. So, okay, last yeah. weekend was, what, what, how was that? It was good. There was a booth for American Rock School there, and we were handing out wristbands and everything. And then we had a little setup, and I was able to go up there with the drummer and jam out. And there was the crowd going. It was a lot of fun. You know, for being so young, you don't get, you don't get nervous, do you? Not anymore. I've gotten kind of used to it. At first, I definitely was, but I just I love it so much that you know. Do you kind of just get into a zone and then you just yes. focus on your playing? Yeah, it's just the adrenaline and everything. Just I get into it so much. Sometimes I even forget that there's like a crowd there. Now um, you've got you've got your song, the break the breakup song. Yes. Um, what what's be, I know there's there's not just you. You got a band. You got a singer. Um, what's that song about? What inspired you? Who wrote it? Well. Um, the lead singer is the one that wrote the melody line and the lyrics, and me and the rhythm guitar player and everyone else kind of came up with our own parts, you know, with the music and everything. And it's about um, how this girl doesn't like this guy at first, and she, he loves him. And He loves her, but she doesn't love him. Yes. Okay. And she realizes at the end that she does love him, so she uh, wants to take it back. So. so it's really not a breakup song then, right? Yeah, it's it turn, a get-together song? It turns around at the end. 
Did you write? I see you looking at your girlfriend back here. Is, she wrote that? I'm not 100% sure. But she what? She, I'm not 100% sure about what it's about, but from what the lyrics, <laughs> that's what it was about. Now, we're going to, um, if somebody wants to get in touch with you, because we're going to go to break and then we're going to come back and you're going to play something for us, right? Yes. Give us your MySpace or website or any information that people want to find you again um, like they did last year. Well, uh, I have a MySpace, and all you have to do is go into music like you're searching for a band and type in my name, Adam Irizarry. Okay, okay spell that for everybody. Uh, Adam, I-R-I-Z-A-R-R-Y. And that's how anybody can get in touch with you? Yes, just uh, message me anything and I'll... Well, Adam, stick around. We're going to take our next break. As soon as we come back, Adam is going to be plucking something. You're going to surprise us, right? I hope so. I hope so. And you want to stick around for the surprise. <laughs>